Good afternoon. My name is Angelica Aguilar. I am currently on my journey to find self-happiness. Throughout this journey, I have learned several lessons about what happiness means to me. So, at this moment, I want to ask you, what is happiness to you? How do you define it? Well, dictionaries will define it as a state of well-being and contentment. But do we truly understand what we are looking for? Happiness is different for everyone, but somehow we all have similar definitions of happiness. It all just depends on how you define happiness and what you see as a happy moment that brings butterflies to your stomach. Everyone must find happiness at least once in their lifetime because it's what makes us human. Every happiness changes over time. No one single thing can remain our main source of happiness forever. Furthermore, happiness is often taken advantage of, but it can also be used to encourage self-love. Psychologically, happiness helps us find a purpose in life and improves our mental health. People nowadays will go on with their lives planning what to do next or what they plan to do the next day and so forth and so on. But one thing they don't include in their schedule is happiness. We expect to for happiness to just appear right in front of us, but that is not how it works. We must work hard to make it happen. During these times, we no longer know where our happiness lies because throughout, year, throughout these years, happiness has changed. The key to happiness is not in a person or an object. It is in ourselves. Objects and people will bring a one day happiness or like a week happiness, but that thrill will not last a lifetime. While searching for our happiness, we have led ourselves to evolution. Happiness has come, has come far and wide from being just an emotion or a feeling. Happiness has now become an agenda. It has brought change upon us as we continue to search for more. Self-happiness is the greatest form of happiness. Happiness is a gift given to us in a world full of dullness. Self-love motivates us and leads us to true happiness. In conclusion, happiness is not something we as a whole can define, but rather as individuals who know what our happiness is. It is not just a benefit to our mental and physical health. It is an emotion that must be felt. Your happiness does not depend on a person or any object. It depends on you to find your own happiness. We all make our happiness and it is worthwhile when we get to experience it firsthand. By winning to find our happiness, we have discovered far more, far more than we have hoped for. In the end, happiness is something that, that connects us with each other, but it is also something that makes us completely different. That is my informative speech and thank you for your time.